Hey guys, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing great and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a setting spray. Now this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. I've heard so many people talk good things about this so I picked it up and I tried it out and here I am to express my genuine and honest thoughts about how I feel about this product. So yeah, stay tuned. So this is the natural finish variant from Wet n Wild. The other one is a matte finish and I picked this one because I'm already a dry skin person and yeah a natural finish is something I really like. So I picked it up and it came in similar packaging. It did not have anything cardboard or anything. It just had a wrap of plastic on it. So this retails for 499 rupees which is almost 500 rupees and it contains 45 ml of product and this is one of the most affordable products available in the Indian market that we have as a setting spray. So first about the packaging if I have an issue it's that the lid isn't sturdy at all. If you have this in your bag it's gonna come off very easily if you move around a lot but personally I don't really carry this one a lot. If you are a person who travels then that might be an issue for you. Next thing is the pump. Now I despise the pump on this. I do not just dislike it. I hate the pump on this. And I have tried a few mist sprays and even the one you use for your garden stuff and all is better than this one. This spray is so weirdly. I'm not sure because the background is white and stuff if you're going to be able to see it. But then there goes my 11 rupees. If you spray it at your face, it sprays in this angle or this angle or this angle. It basically sprays in a straight line and I hate that about this. So when I spray this, only this part is covered and then this area is bare and stuff. So I have to go over a few times. And the droplets that are on your face, oh my god, the droplets are so huge. If you do not have a sponge or anything to absorb them and blend them away after that, they are gonna look really weird and if you have a really powdered face and you spray this to you know reduce the powderiness this won't really work that well unless you have a sponge you spray this on the sponge and then use it to soak up the excess powder so yeah i really do hate the mechanism of this one i wish they would work on this but it is a 500 rupees spray and if you find it on a discount you can grab a better deal out of it now from what i know this one the makeup revolution one and the nyx one these three are some of the more famous sprays that are available in India. So I'm gonna actually calculate how much this one costs per spray because this one contains 45 milliliters of product and it is also the least expensive one out of the three. But I'm gonna put up a chart of calculation of how much one spray or one milliliter costs you in rupees and you can see all of them. I think I did it once and the result was I think this wasn't the most efficient one the makeup revolution was probably the most efficient one but i'm not sure i haven't really tried the makeup revolution one either but i do not want to repurchase this because the mechanism is so bad on this one and also if you think i look really shiny and i look kind of dewy i think then it is because of the spray plus i'm sweating really bad this thing is not gonna control your sweat so yeah, let me just powder all of this and come back. Okay, so we are back and I still think I look pretty dewy. So to talk about the finish of this spray, it does give a really natural finish. Take your beauty blender, spray this on and then use it to set your makeup. It's actually going to look really good. And if you're a person who likes setting sprays and stuff, do try this one. See if you like the mechanism and if you can work around with this. I personally think that if you are a person who even goes to college for a long hours or who goes to office for a long hours and likes to use setting sprays, you can actually use this one. It will give you a very natural finish and it will hold on to your makeup for a decent amount of time. Personally, now I want to talk about this because I haven't heard anyone tell me this about this spray. Even wet and wild eyeshadows don't last with this spray. Now this thing did not come with any kind of instructions that I see. Yep, and I know for the fact that the wet and wild eyeshadows are not waterproof, but for some reason I expected them to be set with this. So yeah, this isn't gonna work with your eyeshadow. So if you are gonna use this on your face, please do cover your eyeshadows. If you know that they are not gonna last a spray, this will take it off. It is not too bad. I do really like it. And if you find it on discount for like 250 rupees, grab it at that time because that's the most efficient way that you can use this. Don't buy it at full price. Always look for Wet n Wild products on Amazon. They're usually on sale for the most part. If not today, they're gonna be on sale in the next week or maybe the next day. They're always on sale from what I know. And yeah, grab this one during that time. I do not know about the matte finish one, if it stays on your eyeshadows and stuff, but this does not. And yeah, so whether I would repurchase, 
um i don't know i might get the makeup revelation one solely because i think that's the most cost effective one if it's not then i will repurchase this and try to fix the mechanism somehow or pour this in some other bottle and then and you can't even detach it i think can you nope you can't but this thing does make your makeup last a little longer does melt your highlight your blush and contour into one so it looks seamless and stuff i do really enjoy it would not try if i want to buy this again if only the mechanism was a little better i don't know if it's just my mechanism but i will see and look around if everyone has the same issue or stuff but yeah those were my thoughts on this product so yeah i am on the fence with this one if i will repurchase this i will tell you guys why i did and stuff but as of right now i'm not looking forward to using this a lot it is a fact that i don't use setting sprays that often but and if i do then i am kind of afraid that this thing is gonna mess up with my makeup and i don't really want that so yeah that completes this video guys please let me know if you want me to review any other wet and wild product or any other brand for that matter please like comment and subscribe tell me your video requests if you have any and i will see you in my next video bye